Welcome to Wild Mail Gaming and welcome back to my third Rice Firework Easter Egg Tutorial playlist. Now that you've placed the third and final battery into the console, you want to activate the console and you're going to be ready for the next steps, which is to relocate where you got the Brenner head to fall and pick that thing up. Once you retrieve the Brenner head, what you then want to do is you want to take the head to four paintings located around the map. You can go the same route that I go or any route that's more sufficient for you, uh, but you need to get to these map locations, these painting locations, and hold down L2, and it'll put a beam out onto the map, and what it'll do is actually light up a number and a picture on the map. Now these numbers and these pictures correspond to one of the consoles in the Emperor's Chamber and uh, what you want to do is the numbers are going to correspond to how many values you actually put into this console to raise each one of these pillars up or down. So once you've located all four maps, what you want to do is remember which number corresponds to which picture. Now the way that I do this, and it works for me every time, each one of these pictures are a little bit different. They're all ravens, but one of the ravens beaks is facing to the left, one of the ravens beaks is facing to the right, the other raven's beak is, for, is pointing straight towards you and the last raven's beak is pointing up into the sky with a moon over the top of it, a, a quarter moon image over the top of it. So the way that I memorize which numbers correspond to which image is I'll do, for instance, two is left, three is right, four is front, and three is up. Uh, so whichever numbers you have in your paintings you want to write those numbers down and you want to write down which direction the beak is facing so you can remember which number corresponds to which image it's much easier if you use the left right up front method so you don't get the pictures confused with the numbers because the moment that you input these is going to ask you to press um, square to play the tone and if you do it incorrectly the machine will reset and it takes about 30 seconds for you to get to be able to input the numbers again so you really want to make sure that you get your number sequences correct when you get down to the Emperor's Chamber now if you're playing with multiple people which at this point I really hope you are uh, you need to get a uh, people in your team to train zombies so you can get this step done without being overrun. There is a good chance that each time you head into the Emperor's Chamber, they will spawn zombies on top of you. I think that it's designed that way because they do not want you down here messing around with these consoles, just free and clear of any type of opposition. So what you see me doing now is actually holding square to select which number value corresponds with each image that I had and then I'll press square to confirm and it'll play this loud tone indicating you've done it correctly if you don't get the tone you've done it incorrectly retrace your steps recheck the paintings and you'll be good to go hope you guys found this video helpful man as always if you're new to YML gaming smash that sub button hit me with that like thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next video